Okay, I wanted to show everybody my antique scale I got at an auction the other day. And it's, it's a neat deal. This is an old antique, probably maybe late 1800s, 19, early 1900s. And it's a very simple thing. You hang whatever you're weighing on that, and then uh, there's a weight that goes down the beam, and there's numbers on it. It's a dual scale on one side. It's scaled for a three pound weight. And on the other side, it's scaled for a 12 pound weight. And you can see the little pointer, I hope, that, uh, see it rocking back and forth? And that tells you whenever you're balanced. Okay. Now I bought this thing and a weight come with it and of course it's not the right weight. This is an eight pound weight and mine is or this scale is for a, either a three or a twelve pound but that's what that's what the uh, the weights look like. Now so I could demonstrate this, I come up with a, uh, a makeshift. I'm going to try and show you how it works. I think it's kind of, it's interesting to me. That's why I've got it. So this is what we're weighing. I already weighed it. It weighs about 15 pounds. And this is my three pound weight that I made up so I'd have something to so if you're weighing you hang on here as you can see it pulls it down and then as you move your weight it's all about leverage that is 15 pounds That is about 14. That's pretty close. I won't go through exact, but you can see how it works. Each one of these notches is a half a pound. And this scale on this side goes up to 80 pounds. I believe it is. 70, 75, 80. And you can't see the numbers, but they're stamped on here. They use these in the old days for trade, like for cotton, tobacco, anything else like that that you would weigh. Very simple. You don't have to be very smart to run it. I had to make a hook for it. I give $10 for this thing, so if that gives you any idea. It did not look like this. You couldn't read the numbers, and it was covered with dirt and rust. And uh, I ended up, um, I used a battery charger to get the rust off of it. Let's see if we have another eight pounds. Three pounds, 22. But you can see if, if this was a, a 12 pound weight, how heavy you could put something on here and it would still have enough leverage that it would, uh, that it'll work. Whenever your pointer gets in the middle up here and you're on it, well, we'll close right there, it'd be Close enough for trade, wouldn't it? So it's kind of cool, I think. My sister bought one of these years ago, but it was a, it's a much smaller one. This one here 
over here under the light, see if I can show you the scale on it. Like I said, on, on this side, you can see there's a three stamped. I hope you can see it. Which means this is a three pound scale side. The other side, see the 12? There's a 12 pound weight and this is the scale for it. That's 20, 60, 80, 100, 120, all the way up to 320 pounds. So if you can imagine hanging 320 pounds on this thing, you could still weigh it and come up with a with a pretty accurate reading. But these aren't rare, but they're not common either. And I would say they're getting more rare as time goes on. A lot of people don't even know what they are or how they work. I just thought it was cool, simple. You know, whoever the guy was that came up with this, he wasn't no dummy. And he probably sold a million of these things. I had to make this hook. This hook was missing. So I made that. But, uh, see the pointer. See? Lines up. Anyway, that's my $10 scale. I think it's actually nine, maybe. But, uh, I think it's just neat as an old antique. I probably will never use it, but you know, whenever times get tough, you never know. Might come in handy. Until next time.